in aquamarine power we're trying to develop uh, a wave energy converter which produces energy from waves and you see a little model here in front so the wave pushes the machine down it acts on the cylinders and then water is pumped on shore and we basically produce electricity from these waves by uh, a Pelton wheel or conventional hydroelectric plant. We've done that with uh, our first demonstrator, Oyster 1, and uh, we have now already installed our second generation device called Oyster 800, and uh, that's currently in commissioning and uh, starting to operate. Well, the, the challenge we had was to bring the cost of energy down for this machine, and, and that's a challenge we're, we're working on since a number of years. Um, you can either do that by increasing the energy or by reducing the capital cost. We were focused on reducing the capital cost and we brought in PA because we didn't have that cost culture in the business to ensure that every decision, every design decision was made on the basis of the, the cost basically and having in mind what the ultimate goal was in achieving. PA came in, they integrated very well in the team. They worked with us to develop a number of tools for the company to track the, the record of this cost and the progress on this cost curve. We're in a position where we now have really changed the cost culture in the business so that people are focused on the cost at any moment in time during the design process and that we're, we're well on the road to um, get the machine commercialized. We want to get the operational experience from Oyster 800, which is currently working on, uh, on Orkney. That learning should go into the design of the next generation machine, which will probably be installed in Orkney as well. Um, as you know, we are planning a number of big changes, like we want to change the material the machine is built of, we want to change a bit on the foundation and some other areas, and these will be tested out. And then hopefully uh, a couple of years further, we would go to develop uh, an array of machines, like three or five machines, which are pumping together into one onshore substation and uh, trying to commercialize the technology really further and getting a customer on board, like a utility, to develop these projects. Originally, I thought of PA more as a management consultancy, as I said, cost reduction, something like that. Having been to uh, the Cambridge Technology Centre specifically, I think maybe I would consider using them more on, on some of the technical advice issues that we have as well. Um, why? As I said, because I think there's some experience here we haven't tapped into yet.